Hey everybody, this is Mike Anderson with Collision Advice. I'm here with my great friend Danny with the DEG, and we're working with SERS to bring you a series of quick tips that will help you to boost your business. Hey everybody, I gotta tell you, I cannot wait to give you the, this tip of the day. I gotta tell you, last week I had the opportunity to do a pilot class for Nissan and Infiniti in regards to hands-on calibration training. OMG, let me tell you, we had four Nissans and one Infiniti, all 2020s. And guess what happened? They all had damage to the either cameras or the ADAS components. And here's what happened. We pre-scanned those vehicles. And of course, what's everybody doing when they pre-scan a vehicle? They're looking for DTCs. Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Three of these five vehicles that all five we knew had problems, Three of the five had DTCs that said, you know what, there's a problem with the blind spot monitor, intelligent cruise control, et cetera. But guess what? Two of those vehicles, they had no DTCs. You heard me right, there were no DTCs. If you're pre-scanning that vehicle and they tell you there's no DTCs and that's all you're looking for, you are making a mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, what we learned and what I learned through hands-on training with Nissan Infiniti, and I wrote it down here, was that we need to check the X and Y axis on the cameras to see if they're within the right values or specifications. Here's the second thing I learned is that when it comes to radar, you've got to check the horizontal and vertical specifications. Ladies and gentlemen, you do that by using a scan tool, a factory scan tool. So ladies and gentlemen, here's my message for you today. You can't count on DTCs, at least not on Nissan Infinities. You must check the values of the ADAS components. And those are gonna be found in the OEM repair procedures so don't delay, check the values today. Thanks for joining us.